everyone we're getting pretty dark out and uh you know the sun's almost going down and i was just looking around doing a lot of harvesting uh managed to get a lot of things done actually even though the mosquitoes have been rampant uh, i decided to wear long pants long sleeves in this 90 degree heat and uh, it worked out i got a lot done i harvested all this There's tons of tomatoes we're getting a lot of rain tomorrow so uh, and the next day and the next day after that so I figured I'd harvest a lot of figs I'd harvest a lot of different things these turnips here we harvested early because uh, I'm getting a lot of white fly that's attacking them all my brassicas so I took out all my brassicas and pretty much started a bunch of things from seed in hopes that they kind of go away and leave the new seedlings alone but in my search of uh, doing all that I came across this Ron de Bordeaux that was extremely dried up on the tree. This may be the most dry I've ever seen a fig in person uh, that wasn't bought from the store. You can see something bit it. Something got at this thing. I bet you it was a slug. And I don't know how I saw it because it was so dark. But on my Ronde de Bordeaux tree, there really isn't that many figs left of the season. Uh, they're all pretty much gone. You know, this fig fruits uh, and crops most of its figs before September 1st, which is really impressive. So this is the last one, probably. And I can't believe how dry it is. So I wanted to capture this moment because this is just going to be an awesome amazing fig that uh, I just have to get this on on camera I mean you can see you can already see the inside look how red that is this is gonna be like fig candy put you guys down for just one second and I'll cut this guy up show you exactly what the inside looks like very chewy skin I bet very jammy interior it's amazing how many things get my figs before I do or attack them in some way oh my god I'm getting bit, guys. But look at how red that is. Oh my goodness. It's as good as it gets. Seriously, this is probably going to be the best fig I've eaten all year. When they get super ripe like this, to the point where they're drying on the tree, look out. Whoa. I can't believe this isn't spoiled, you know? The only way I think I've been able to achieve this quality of fig is that we haven't had much rain. Maybe this fig was perfectly ripened in a window with no rain, because we have had a little bit of rain. But for the most part, we've been warm. It's been sort of dry, and I haven't really been watering my figs all that much. All throughout the season, too. I know I talked to you guys about how to get figs Taste of your figs, really. Water makes a huge difference if you can lower the amount of water you guys are giving them. Whew. This is a pretty prime example. I, I want to keep talking, but I want to eat this. That is an incredible fig, guys. That is incredible. Um, it's pretty close to a 10. It's pure fig jam. That's quite thick, chewy skin. Intense berry flavor from a Ronde de Bordeaux. And it's an interesting berry flavor too. Oh, and it's sweet. Oh my god. Wish there was more. Anyway guys, if you live in California or Arizona, you could probably do what I just did all the time. And uh, you're lucky. So 
let them ripen longer lower the water if you can if you live somewhere like where I do and cross your fingers that nothing gets to it and you will have a perfect perfect fig all right guys I'll talk to you all later thank you for enjoy uh, joining me on this uh, this night here and um, I'll talk to you all soon take care